the screen. Hey, what's going on? Hi, Brandon. How's it going? I'm good, thanks. How's it? Where's... Ah, there you go. You're on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> can see you. Welcome. There we go. Hey. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's working now. How's right. your show going? Yeah, it's pretty good. We've Which been uh, we've been talking about all the new things, all the new bundles that have come out recently. Um, some good things in them. Um, so we've just been doing some pros and cons, going over uh, each ship, looking at the traits, consoles, etc., seeing what is good, what's not. Yeah, and uh, awesome. How are you? good yeah yeah uh busy but it's it's a lot of fun busy yeah so thanks for having me on uh it's a it's an honor to be here for your first show thank you so yeah, much thank you. so what we're doing yeah of course brandon is if anybody doesn't know um is has the ship talking podcast yeah which if no one's listened to should be listening to it now <laughs> because it's, it's pretty amazing stuff on there. Um, you've got obviously a few episodes out already. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to have chat open too in case there's any questions that come through that I see in there. But yeah, so fifth episode out this week. Uh, it's been a wild ride. We've had a lot of fun with our guests. We've had some really great names like... I got so nervous before a lot of our uh, a lot of our interviews because some of these are big like idols that I look up to. I mean, Rick Sternbach, like he is a legend. Doug Drexler, of course, we've had guys from the STO team, um, Dr. Aaron McDonald, Dr. Margaret Weidekamp, and then one of my favorite actors from Star Trek Voyager, uh, Robert Duncan McNeil, was on this week's episode, <laughs> and it's just so so much fun. Uh, and then just. God, was it last no the night before last we recorded our next episode which was with mike mcmahon who created lower decks wow. and sean taranjo who designed the titan and that was actually the first time they've met uh they never have met uh like um mike knew that the titan was going to go in. he knew that sean designed it and they yeah. kind of had to held out and they decided to make it a surprise for him because he's been waiting 15 years so wow uh, it's been really really cool to see uh th to see their meeting and the chats are just robbie and i have so so much fun they're they're just a blast and it's very niche right because like <laughs> there's a million trek podcasts out there but how many on ships specifically right yeah there's not there's not a lot at all um, I was listening yeah. to the last one, and yeah, Tom Paris, I can agree with you. I mean, I've liked him since since the start of Voyager. Voyager's like one of my favourite uh, TV shows, and um, listening to him on that one, where he's where he was just talking about just smashing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was all Which just Which is exactly improvised. what we do in STO, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not... I should have asked him if he had any space really parts. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Um, yeah, he he was so cool. He's so chill. You know, yeah. Voyager is the reason I am where I am today. My dad sat me down when I was nine years old and said, "You need to watch this with me." And I he had watched the Next Generation and I'd seen it on television, but. Um, I think I only saw scenes of Deanna Troy doing counseling or something. I was like, oh, I don't like this. Like, I want spaceship battles because I love spaceships. And he's like, sit down, watch this. Um, he had heard reviews that it opens up, you know, with, of course, what we got to see, which was the Badlands scene. And I was yeah. just hooked. I said, oh, my God. And it's changed my life. Like, I would not be here in Dublin, Ireland, where I live now for the last four years. I wouldn't have got to Cryptic. I wouldn't have started the podcast. I wouldn't have anything in my life mm. really if it wasn't for my dad sitting down and us watching Star Trek together. So wow. it wow. was just, uh, it was, yeah, it's, I owe a lot to Star Trek. Um, and it's so exciting to be working on it again. Um, you know, after uh, going to STO, it kind of had to give up priority one. And now it's in great yeah. hands. Elio and the team do great there. Mm. Um, 
And then I moved here to Ireland and I just, I needed a few years to find my feet. I moved mm. here with two suitcases and started wow. a new life. And I finally feel settled in that process. <laughs> I'm getting back into podcasts. That's... I'm getting back into STO. <laughs> I, I watched every stream that Mike did and past community managers and read every blog that came out, but I just didn't yeah. have, I didn't have the mindset to be able to jump in and play again just because I was you know setting up a business here in life yeah. and i finally feel settled and it's just been a lot a lot of fun so wow i can't imagine going to another country with two suitcases and that's and starting off that's pretty that's pretty good going <laughs> two suitcases and a 90-day tourist visa <laughs> oh I wow i am de too determined to uh to not make my dream uh work out and when i put my mind to something i put my mind to something well, yeah, um, and yeah, it really shows in the in the podcast. I mean, actually, I should just um, let me just copy paste this link into chat so people can sure. can grab it there Thank because you. it's really definitely worth a listen because it's just amazing um, the conversations on there. Um, yeah, that that's the link to the um, to the Apple Podcast. If you don't use, uh, if you have Android or you don't use um, Apple Podcasts, you can just go to shiptalkingpod.com, and we have links to all of the major streaming platforms there. You can also just search Ship Talking Podcast in any streaming app, and the podcast will be there. I've made sure that it is on everything. So. Uh, yeah, would love your feedback. I mean, we're only five episodes in, uh, but yeah. we actually have episodes scheduled all the way to early April. Yeah. Um, and then guests confirm beyond that. I have, wow. um, I think we have a list of 35 guests. And, Amazing. you know, some of them have worked on Trek shows, some of them model ships, some of them are like ship modelers now by hand. Yeah. Um, some do it digitally. Uh, some work on STO. Um, we have the team from Eagle Moss coming on. Oh, Anything nice. related yeah. to ships, we want to get on and have individuals talk to us. And it's very casual if you've listened to the podcast. Yeah. It's you know twenty minutes each week. It's digestible because mm. you you know everyone's got a million podcasts they listen to, and we didn't want to be just another podcast that doesn't get finished each week. So we thought, let's do something niche. Let's do something short. Um, yes. And let's do something that is is really just a group of friends sitting in ten forward talking about ships. That's really what it is, and the conversation goes wherever it goes, and uh, <laughs> it's yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, it's... a question. Would would yeah, you ever of course. Be able to get, would you ever be able to get a dev PVP team together? <laughs> A death PvP, you know. <laughs> remember when we were doing PvP boot camp um, back before I left uh, Cryptic, and we set up that program. Yes. And we were looking into that. We were looking into like what would a like players versus dev, um, you know, kind of environment look that. like. We would love <laughs> that. Would be fun. <laughs> we need to do that. That's right. That I'm, sure, be, I'm sure a lot of us would like would enjoy that. Yeah, that would be uh, quite yeah. quite interesting. You'd literally get people reinstalling and like getting their accounts back of friends that they've lent them out from years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but they, <laughs> I think years, I think years ago, I can't remember the name of the dev, but there was one day where we there was one dev online and we did. Um, he was it's uncannable. like. Yeah, yeah, we, there was like 20 of us v1 dev and all he had to do was press a button and our ships would just explode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, it was yeah, just thanks. just That's... doing it for fun, obviously, but... <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, if, that was fun. if you've watched Mike's 10 forward streams, you see that little red text in the top corner that says access level. The um... certain access levels get, grant you certain things you can do. So you can like, you know, wipe out everything in the map or you can make yourself <laughs> invincible. So um, there are some funky things they can do, but I don't think they do it on the live server anymore, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, because no. I was be nice like, oh, it'd be so fun to run a... Yeah, do you remember the closed beta, end of closed beta event? If any of you played, like all the devs got on, put themselves into Borg costumes uh, yeah. and then went around and just like fought people on Earth Space Talk as Borg. There was like this big Borg invasion. Oh, wow. I bet you there's a YouTube video out there um, that has the recounts of this. It was it was so much fun. Uh, oh. So that'd be kind of cool to see again. Yeah, we'll yeah. have to try and find it. That'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got somebody saying in chat they've got the screenshots of that. 
Oh, yeah. oh cool. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you need to post them in the Discord. Yeah, you have to post them in the Discord. The Discord. <laughs> Share them around. Let me try and get. And Caboose, I see your comment there. Yeah, it's it's. We really love that it's short. Now that said, we are meeting with our guests for forty-five minutes to an hour, and it's yeah. it's tough to cut down the content. But that said. Wow uh because it takes a long time to edit and this is just a side hobby for me right now and since the show is shorter what we have been doing is we've been putting out the expanded episodes uh so the full guest chat everything the guest talks about which includes expanded discussions from the topics that make the show and brand new topics that don't for instance robbie um on the show was talking to us uh more about his piloting experience being up in the uh in this um, this jet that he went up in to learn what piloting looked like. Uh, <laughs> for our chat with Mike McMahon, we got more behind the scenes stuff of mm -hmm. uh, lower decks and, and things that um, we might be able to see coming forward. And was talking about some of the ship design of the Cerritos wow. and you know why the nacelles are the shapes there are. We're going to find out more about that. So if you're interested, uh, we do have a Patreon. And uh, you know, for all the for all the work I do on the show, um, I'd be happy to buy a coffee in your in your name. Uh, that's what I've been doing is buying coffee and lunch during. It takes about twenty to 50, or fifteen to twenty hours a week to actually produce the show. Wow. Um, which, that's, if you think about your yeah. hobby or sports you play, that's probably what amount of sure. time you're spending on that, anyways. Yeah, and I love every minutes. moment of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like your uh, I like your sweater, by the way. The your sweater with oh, the, yeah, the logo. You. Look at that. That's really cool. So I don't know how many uh, people know this, but I actually commissioned Thomas yeah. the Cat to design the logo. Oh wow! So, nice. Thomas, yeah, your and he is Leo. a genius. That's my brother. With, uh, <laughs> the 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 microphone as the uh, as the ship uh, hull a uh, saucer, and then of course the nacelles, which are unmistakable. So. I was so I remember he sent that to me and I just was like wow I need that on a on a hoodie right now and I, that's what I did as I went out and bought a hoodie and then I yeah. was like oh this actual site lets you sell so we actually again to support the pod we have um you can buy mugs and shirts and uh, anything that we can put a logo on you can get uh your own ship talking uh branded piece of merch <laughs> <laughs> very nice beep says leo's oh, twin leo's Oh, Leo, we should wear a Star Trek. Uh, hey, Beebs. <laughs> I should wear a Star Trek. Yeah, I've got uh, got Nike on here. Sorry. <laughs> Where's your brand? Come on. I, I know. <laughs> I need to get a Pandalorian oh, image on the T-shirt, yeah? Yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's a great idea. Redbubble. Just yeah. go to Redbubble and you can upload your items and get it printed on whatever you want. And then you can turn around and actually sell that um, to any of your, your fans. Oh, I've, so I've bought so much, so many shirts and hoodies of the logo. I basically have a whole wardrobe. And now with this whole work from home thing, you know, uh, yeah. it doesn't matter what you're wearing on the bottoms. I'm always in like <laughs> basketball shorts or sweat shorts and uh, just shit talking stuff on the top. Onesie on the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter what's underneath. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Body on top or whatever. Have we got any details on that Titan? Because I haven't. We we purposely oh, didn't like yeah. look at any information that, until today. We do. That's. I have the blog, right? Have they released anything on that Titan? Because I really. I want to see that. Sorry. <laughs> well, we can we can look at the stats. Yeah, let's check them out. No, I'm just, sorry, I'm just, I am really interested to hear your thoughts from a PvP perspective on that console. It seems pretty powerful for a uh, um, okay. for what it can do. If I'm reading it correctly. Ooh, I, science destroyer! Science destroyer, oh, no, Titan no, class. No, now I have to no, say. I mean, it looks really nice. I mean, actually, just look at that. Look at that picture there. That just looks yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. So this was actually um, uh, concept artist Hector Ortiz did the concept up for this, and yeah. then Tobias Richter, who is yeah. actually um, on the podcast episode after Mike McMahon. So I think we're taking next week off for Thanksgiving. I'm in Ireland, yeah. but. Um, 
uh, my friends here are throwing me a Thanksgiving since I can't oh. get back to my family. My first Thanksgiving ever not with my family in wow. California. So they're throwing yeah. it for me here. Um, and uh, uh, so we're not having an episode next week, but then we've got Mike McMahon and Sean Taranjo. And then after that is actually Tobias Richter, who modeled this, and Donnie, Vers I think it's Versiga. Is that how you pronounce it? He yeah. did the intake for it. He also did the photography for the blog and all the images. So um, wow. Tobias is a legend. He's been working on Star Trek ships uh, since the 90s, starting with actual modeling and now doing, um, uh, you know, 3d he's he's done yeah. quite a few of the uh star trek online ships except especially when you have multiple coming out um like i know i think he did one of the uh, uh the the carriers that came out uh what the but, last uh, carriers it, that came out really cool ship yeah yeah the the van like the there was the three pack the cation yes uh, the romulan and the was Jim Hadar, right? Yeah, Jim Hadar. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. them. I got yeah. them. Yeah, I because I'm a carrier yeah. fan. You see, I have to get every carrier. It's they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. I I before the sh those bundles came out, I've never I never flown one, um, and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and I got my Jim Hadar character because I hadn't made one yet. Yeah, and I'm just like, this is kind of fun, just chilling back and let my yeah. uh, my spawn <laughs> do the work for me. Yeah, I know. I'm very glad. <laughs> weren't locked to those those ships only no yes I you can pets, i thought you were only going to be able to get those pets on those ships and i was like oh and then i realized you yeah. could, it, thank god for that because they look great they do look good yeah yeah look, now, now, what was the end amazing. result of testing the squadron pets are they are they doing any I think the, DPS compared to their... the lower ranked <laughs> ones are better than the than the uh ultra rare ones apparently um do you know why that is i have a theory I, think, I don't know for sure but i have a theory i'm i'm not 100 percent sure no what the reason is i mean i thought maybe it's just bugged <laughs> so but, <laughs> what i was thinking is all of yeah. those pets now again i don't work at cryptic i don't know how the systems works but if i were to guess maybe and it's probably not meant to happen but if you look at the ultra rare pets they have more abilities right so yes. if they have firing cycles and they're using going between their firing cycles and those abilities if some of those abilities aren't uh, damage abilities mm -hmm. then maybe there's that trade-off in the dps because they're using those other abilities which ultimately maybe give you more dps depending on the debuff that was done right mm -hmm. so that is my guess those higher level pets have way more toys and space magic right than their yes. lower counter pets who are just kind of focused on firing yeah that's that is my guess be. i'm not 100 yeah. percent sure but if i was to theory craft yeah then the higher level ones who have more weapons i can't remember yeah no they've got more abilities they've got extra things on them um they yeah they don't get the weapons though no they've got the same actual... weapons um hmm. but it's just an extra ability so say like the low rank doesn't have cannon rapid fire and the high rank has cannon rapid fire plus some other ones Three, yeah. yeah like um i've forgotten what the actual abilities are on them now but um yeah i mean that I could make sense the main, so. the main thing i wanted sense. to change if they could change anything on those uh squadrons would be it have the same damage but the visuals comes from every ship because it's like it's mm. a bit the annoying like one maps. ship fires from the whole squadron <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh I just it's want like my whole screen full of lasers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that, yeah it's, like, it's really underwhelming, and you fire all this swarm, and then two bullets come out. And you're like, ah, oh. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where's the thing? You know, I don't mind the damage being the same, but if yeah. it could look cooler, <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> they could change that. <laughs> well, I like, suppose... yeah, like that bug, the um, the cat yeah. ship. Like you know when you fired the cat ship. <laughs> yeah, you did the video. And, um, there was a bug yeah, there. Get... <laughs> that was actually with the Saiyan eight trucks. Basically, when if you have a warp shadow, it doesn't work anymore. But if you've um, unlocked warp shadow, and uh, that's in your trait mm. selection, basically if you decloak and cloak the pets, it would spawn a Talis warbird. And Kaiser did a video. Oh, right. He did a video of it in uh, Karat because I got about a hundred, over a hundred of them spawned. Mm -hmm. 
all over the place right. but they have fixed that but that was i mean if you look at that video he's got it's only a short video but it's yeah. pretty pretty epically cool but i get That's what you funny. mean you would like the similar yeah, yeah, thing yeah. with those pets as well yeah um <laughs> So I suppose a uh, Titan, here we go, Titan. Titan. Yeah. Yeah. So just And remastered Luna, which is out today, right? With the patch that came out today and then the Titan goes on sale tomorrow. Yeah. Does it say 500 Zen? What? Oh, no. No, wait, no. <laughs> that's, for a, that's for a fleet module. Yeah. <laughs> that's for I'll a... take five. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, um, so the price is 3,000 Zen. 3,000 Zen. 3, That's not bad, though. I'm tempted. I'm oh, yeah. Tempted. I know. And you can I... get the fleet module for 500. Yeah. Okay. I would love if that console could be put on another ship, and then if you used it, there was a small chance to warp in, like, a Titan so class or a great. Luna class that would help you while you're fighting, and you would hear Boimler go, It's the Titan! <laughs> <laughs> What's, what happens with this? Well, we console out, Leo. We haven't quite seen this console yet. Um, yeah, so so just looking at this, right. looking at the ship, we got four weapons, three aft, hull strength one point mm. one, shield mod one point three two five. This is the uh, this isn't the fleet one. Um, right. So that those also mods... don't forget that that can go into tactical mode. So you also gain what is that? Um, your your tactical gets upgraded to commander tactical. Is that right? And then uh, you get an extra weapon. Oh, you get an experimental weapon too. I forget exactly what tactical mode does, but uh... yeah. Yeah. So I think the commander science here would get downgraded to lieutenant commander. Right, yeah. right, and the loot and then you here, get commander tactical. Yeah, you get commander and tactical commander here. Tactical yeah. Commander, yeah, I mean, and you've got a lieutenant commander science command, and a lieutenant engineering. Well, already looking at buff layout from from a PvP perspective, I would say this doesn't have enough engineering. Um, a lieutenant only engineering station is is really weak. Um, cause you can only run like what, I mean, engineering yeah. team and one emergency power Yeah. when you need things like reverse shield polarity, orcs to sif, emergency power to engines, emergency power to shields, being in a science ship, of course, cause you need to be more tanky. Yeah. So already, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't use this ship in a pvp scenario if this was lieutenant commander yeah. universal if that was universal mm. command then i could yeah. put engineering in there and then that would be fine because then i've got lieutenant commander engineering and lieutenant engineering and that's enough for me to slop things and actually mm. that would work really nicely then if that was universal then i could use it for pvp but i think for pve it should be fine PvE, um, this is fine. Yeah. I mean, well, I think what you're going to be most interested about for PvP is the console. If you yeah. if, when you scroll down and read well, that, the I. Uh... Oh, what about the trait as well? How about the trait as well? Okay, so here is the opening salvo console. When activated, you fire several salvos of projectiles at targets in your forward wow. arc over several seconds by default these projectiles will disable all subsystems on targets okay. in addition to dealing kinetic damage in tactical mode these projectiles will deal damage in an aoe on each hit and additionally debuff damage resistance on foes but will no longer disable subsystems so and the science mode now this i mean does this can you use this on another ship? Because yeah, can be used on any ship. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but this is science and tactical Sorry, mode, though. Sorry, Sorry, so if you use it on a non-science destroyer ship, it is always in science mode. Ah, if you okay. use it on another destroyer, it, it's... you can use the tactical mode. Otherwise, it's like always in science. Um, but yeah, that what what uh what's what's fun about this one. 
probably for for the PVPers to think about Disable. is that disabling of all stuff. That's, that's a big mm. deal, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. You want to know how is, like, long that's going to last for, though? The problem is, that, like, it'll be a second. You'll disable them for like a microsecond. That's well. That's it's a console, though, so I, w I wonder actually. Yeah, yeah, you have to check. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely I, 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 on like, Mike's stream, he did like, show the um, the stats, but I just forget what he said. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, a... disable, I mean, it depends what might clear it, like Kaiser said, it could, I mean, if, if it's like, say, I don't know, engineering team clears it, or science team clears it, or something clears it, it could be cleared quite quickly, but if nothing clears it, then yeah, I mean, that's, that's well, pretty strong. Um, um, respawning would clear it, right? Just... <laughs> 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 Yeah, dying will clear it. Dying will clear it. Yeah. yeah, I want to try it. Definitely, I want to try it. I mean, yeah. Because it goes yeah. on the ship as well. Can only Fed get this ship, yeah? Uh, uh, Fed aligned, yeah. So. Fed, yeah, Federation right. aligned. Yeah. Right, traits. Um, Let's trait so the trait, while this trait is slotted, when you activate engineering, science, or tactical fleet, a ship if your fleet's flagship class will warp in to assist you for f several seconds. Federation get an Odyssey, Klingons get a Bortescue, Romulans get a Scimitar, Jemadar get a Vanguard Dreadnought. Now, hmm. yeah. something that's yeah. interesting when I read this, this is a, a tier 5 mastery ship, right? So it's not an account wide unlock, yet it's talking about Klingon characters slotting this trait and getting yeah. those ships i did hear i think i was reading um one of the recaps from a recent dev blog or um maybe it was mike's stream where he talked about they're gonna they're gonna talk more about this in the new year uh, of what that means but they're putting that in the blog now i guess to to get the info out there but mm -hmm. it sounds like a teaser to something of somehow where other factions are gonna be able to get that trait um so I know there's been. I always thought you could. Yeah. I always thought if you were fed and you bought a ship and you unlocked, you can. You your KDF got it. I thought you could just reclaim it. I, wasn't that only for lockbox? No, no, no. Account. It have to be account wide ships. I don't think it's. There isn't a. There is a reclaim tab, right? And there are traits yeah, in there. I just don't remember how. How those get in, but I don't think this will be available right away. Um, Bezelmon says if the faction does not have the ship, you can reclaim it from the Dilithium store. Uh, Z store only, though. You can, you can reclaim traits. You can reclaim traits. Okay. okay, cool. So maybe it will be when it's live. I thought I was reading um, that they were going to talk about what that means uh, early next year, but I might be I might be wrong. So Beebs is saying it's a Fed only trait. So it sounds like this isn't just a fed only trait to start with and there's going to maybe be some alternate way. I mean something here something to note though is that when I look at these things like the Gem Hadar if you're a science cap uh, captain uh, a character your photonic fleet has the ability to use sub nuke 2 when you use it through the ships so sometimes you've got to look at the NPC's abilities to see if they're actually if there's anything good within them. Um, That's a good call. So if I, yeah, I want to see in the yeah the Odyssey was Odyssey because they all have abilities themselves. So yeah, the Bortescu has got top spread three. Top high yield tractor beam. It also launches pets as well. Hmm. And what's this? Subspace snare? So sometimes you gotta look never into have uh, never seen that Max Seas Bird of Prey. That's well cool. That was the coolest oh, yeah, ship yeah. when that first came out. And that little I pet that. and used to have the little hose who's flying around. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it folds That's subspace and uh, directly in front of you. Okay, so that could be interesting. Um, the are next. These, are these those mini consoles now? So this is what the, this is what this the the trait should spawn as these ships. 
So the scimitar should have a thaler on pulse. So that'd be pretty cool to see that you spawn one of them in yeah. and see that go off. It's like in um, in the in, in, in you know with what's her name the, the Romulan one in the TFO uh, where you have to go and catch her at the end. What's her name? Tanara or something. Um, it's a bit like that. So that's got I a back. I keep forgetting her name as we well. Do we put the trait again? Um, right. So quickly go back to that. Um, yeah. See if we can cheat it. Is there any way of cheating this trait? So you spam loads of those shit. Wow, well, this is this is what you got to <laughs> sort of think of. Uh, when you activate engineering, science, or tactical fleet. Right. Okay. But but there's traits that also like buff those fleet things, isn't there? So maybe. Well, this is the thing. You might be able to buff these. It'd be fun to play around with, bro. Yeah. Well, the gem dreadnought boarding party top spread. Well, actually, this one's a bit of a. Well, that's a letdown on that one. <laughs> is that the correct one though? Because there is another one. Okay, it's the same. All right, so that one's a bit of a letdown. Odyssey. Oh, look at the Odyssey. That's got a lot. Look, it's got Gravwell two, Chevron top spread tractor beam, charged particle burst, fire at will. So that's quite good for detecting people. Launch Aquarius mm. Exor, Escort. I mean, that, that, that tractor beam's quite strong on that ship. Yeah, I oh, know. Yeah. Whenever you're flying the fence and you get like that thing grabs you, you do know it. Yeah. So, I mean, this could be actually quite interesting, and it and as far as I'm aware with pets, is that obviously you can buff them with certain traits as well. Um, so you should hopefully be yeah. able to buff this because it's I think it's a summon pet so that normally works when you buff with like coordinated assault um, attack pattern gamma you know lots of team traits basically that help buff um, you know summoned pets and your hanger pets as well yeah uh, Bizamon actually just said in the carrier uh, if you're for the Gem Hadar yeah. uh, characters, it sounds like you'll be able to summon their dread, and then the trait summons a bug ship. So, in the carrier, ah. uh, in Gem ship, you might be able to summon a small Gem Hadar fleet. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that the would bug be... ship trait is quite cool because you can just keep that constantly on because you're obviously use like fresh from R and R, and then just keep spamming eng team and side team every ten seconds, and then that bug ship's always there. I mm -hmm. love that bug trait. I mean, yeah. this is actually Eight quite. Points. Look here, kinds of that tractor beam mine launch on the scimitar. I yeah, mean, horrible. Yeah. They, those. I mean, yeah. if you, if that's the thing, if you had that with your own tractor beams and tractor beam that actual console there, that weapon as well on your ship, you could make like a tractor beam sort of, yeah. uh, you know, lasts, grabbing though. everyone. As well, that as your well, that'll last until lasts. it's. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah. How long do they last? That is a good question. Uh, does it say well? This is here? why we have uh, we have the Pandalorians, right, to help yeah. us once it uh, comes yeah. out, test yeah, it out, do. put all the details together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we will have to pick test to this pieces. thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. pick it to pick pieces. It apart, yeah. <laughs> Which I think is kind yeah, of fun. I mean, that's what that that's what. It. That's what playing games is all about, right? Exploring and learning things. If everything was just revealed, it just would, uh, it kind of just go through the daily, the daily grind, right? But you know, I it's kind of fun to, to experience things. Yeah, that's true. They don't look into it in that much detail. They, they and that's, but, but that's okay too, it. right? Yeah. yeah. That might just be their game style. They might just like, I just want to go in and pew pew. I don't care about my build. Uh, I, don't, I don't want the map to end in 30 seconds anyways I want to I want to see the, uh, you <laughs> yeah. know, I want it to be a challenge wow. so, uh, <laughs> um, I was I was in an infected run the other day infected yeah. space and I was just like I like alt tab for a second I came back in and it was over I'm like <laughs> that was 30 seconds so what happened <laughs> you know you just get into some of these cues luckily with these players and they're like okay um, I hope I don't get an AFK penalty for that <laughs> well I, I was in one of them as well and I was uh, leveling up a healer and I put on a healer build 
thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, I can just shoot a couple of things. And then literally, it was all dead, and I got an AFK penalty. Because, because obviously, a healer build, you know, you're not really doing damage. But the fact that it was yeah. over so quick, I couldn't even level it up properly. Uh, so sometimes it can be a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Titan's going to be really fun uh, to to play around with. I'm I'm definitely looking forward to. It. I have a science character who's looking for a new ship. So, um, and I also my main is a tactical. So I feel like this kind of fits within my play style playing on that character. Yeah, I mean, you um, PVE though, yeah. Yeah. It was a PvE yeah, 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 yeah. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I God, I uh, Leo's been so good. <laughs> uh, talking to me about making some some builds because honestly, what since I've returned and started playing again, um, I haven't really focused on really building anything out, and um, yeah. it's more just been just catching up on story content and playing around. Yeah. But he's uh, he's long. he's training me up for some uh, well, either for some vaping or for some uh, uh, controls. So it's, it's, vaping. Uh, I'm looking forward to jumping into it. Dog fighting, dog fighting. I get. I sent him a dog. dog I sent him a dog fighter build. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the one... thing now is, um, it's a, it's a fine art. It's a fine, fine art. Now. Of course, yeah. Kaiser. Eighty nine. Wait, you mean I can't just click spacebar and it happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm. You're gonna put me through. You're gonna put me through boot camp. I need it. You can def yeah. definitely dog fighting is is the way to go at the moment. Yeah, it's it's, it's good fun. It's really good fun. And we've got a, a T three ship only event this Saturday actually. Um, so the only rule is coming a T three ship. So you know you have to create your own thing. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty intense and probably a laugh. I'd say. I chose my, temp my temporal escort for that. <laughs> yeah, I've got to try shuttle PvP if you haven't already. Yeah, yeah, we have. that's on the list. Yeah, there's a few, a few events. So hopefully one of them you can come along to. I'll let you know, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So when absolutely. you're free next. Um. Yeah. So I think the ship is well, is in very interesting, and I think a lot of tests need to be done. And I think maybe there's some good things in that. I think, uh, yeah. and six K Zen. I mean, it's pretty standard pricing. I think it's is six K three, three K. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I said six. I put up the price. Six <laughs> K is for that new uh, that new gift uh, gift bundle of of tier six ship. Uh, Zenkethi codes Zenkethi. that are coming out right yes yeah, the Zenkethi. yeah yeah although I, I i i heard rumblings from that recent 10 forward live stream that there may be uh, a sale tomorrow so maybe it'll also be on discount i don't know <laughs> i don't know sometimes new ships aren't on discount right not the new ones no yeah for sure i've got i've got i've got a list of things that i've been like oh black friday's coming up i'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, pull out. You know, I've been <laughs> yeah. locked down this this year. I haven't really spent anything. So like, I'm hitting my wallet now. Now the PlayStation's Five is out. Oh, wow. uh, STO's yeah. putting out all these ships. So <laughs> it's uh, it's We've I'm got itching Cyberpunk to, to get out. rid of some of that Zen. <laughs> <laughs> we got Cyberpunk coming out, so we're all like, oh my god, that too, <laughs> that too, go? just back to back. <laughs> uh, but guys, thank you so much for having me drop by. Yeah, uh, thank I you. I would love to come back again. Um, and uh, my, I actually plan to get one of the STO devs from the systems team on the podcast to talk ship, specifically oh, wow. about designing ships hmm. in a video game. Uh, but more so, like, we, you know, ship talking is all about anything to do with ships. Uh, it could be someone's talking about master systems displays and deciding, like, where parts of the ship go i want to get an sto dev in from the systems team to talk about how do you go about actually designing systems wise a ship their abilities their bridge officer seats things like that i think it'd be fun to dive into so stay yeah. tuned uh and uh i'll definitely keep you guys updated on on when that's going to happen oh, sweet cool. well th thank you so much for joining us it's been amazing hey, and, pleasure uh, with mine yeah and um, yeah, we we'll, we we'll speak soon, and and ho hopefully you come back and maybe uh, maybe do some PVP action with us. 
join in <laughs> as I, well. I, I absolutely will. You can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, good luck with the podcast. They are really amazing. And anybody uh, watching this should really listen to them. They're, they're, they're really very, very good. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. ShipTalkingPod.com. That's my last plug. All right, guys. <laughs> see you later. All right, take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye.